Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the action figure of Clayface from Batman the Animated Series by DC Collectibles. This is one awesome looking figure. I mean, the dimensions of it are accurate to how he's drawn in the animated series, like a lot of the characters, smaller legs, bigger shoulders. But I mean, within the scale of these figures, he's an imposing presence on the shelf. He's just such, he's very big and huge on top, very wide. Uh, and a lot of good work went into this, you know, to make it seem lumpy and clay-y. You can see like all the little ridges going on it. His kind of weird toes the grip of his hands. We'll get a closer look at those in a second, but just like the sludginess of him, including his head, which I think they did a pretty good job with as far as like depicting his likeness, you know, from the animated series into toy form, uh, especially with like the black lines around his eyes, the, the, the specifics of his teeth, how uneven they are. You can even see like the gums right above his teeth and then the tongue, the, uh, the paint inside the mouth, the kind of brownish paint, the lip ridge, Clean paint, great sculpt, great chin area sculpt. Uh, the dome of his head is nice. And then here's just a look at the back, just so you can see. Again, the kind of sludgy musculature of him. And his little clay butt crack. So yeah, uh, the figure comes with a bunch of uh, alternate like hands and stuff. Like There's not a lot of accessories to speak of, but he does come with this uh, you know clay axe hand. And then this fun spiky mace arm with little, like, you know, brown chains, um, clay chains. And then his little hook hand. Yep. And then we get this alternate head, which looks freaking awesome in my book. I love it. It's a great, great sculpt. Very uh, extreme kind of, you know, animated, uh, literally animated as in he's in an expressive moment. Uh, good eyes. The teeth look great. The angles of his mouth look awesome. I love this. Looks great. Lastly, we've got the uh, little figure stand, which has the character turnaround of Clayface on it with the little lines that make it look like it's an animation sheet. And it just has like this little uh, stick that you plug in there. And then you add this to the top. And there's your claw, which can slide forward and back, as well as like open, you know, you have to open it pretty wide for his wide waist, but yeah. Switching out the head was really easy, and it, it's made of like a soft kind of rubbery material. You could just see here how it's not hard plastic, it kind of bends. Um, and then here's just a closer look at his hands before we change him out, just so you could see like his little knuckles. Really, really good sculpting. Um, but yeah, let's let's switch one of these out. It's a pretty easy plug. And uh, yeah, it seems to snap on like that's it. And it, it follows within the hinge nicely, so that's good. Now let's switch out one more. And get his little, his little hook hand. That one's a little bit tighter, but I'm sure if we, Oh, there we go. That was easy. The figure stand for this figure is pretty pointless. As you can see, he stands perfectly fine on his own, but also, like, the stand doesn't really grip anything. It's just sort of... it's a big open clamp that doesn't really hold on to anything. So it's just sort of a neat thing for him to stand on. Articulation on this is pretty standard. You got swiveling feet, you got the, uh... The joint at the, the leg that comes forward and then another hinge that goes side to side. Uh, there is no knee joint, so that's a little bit atypical. Uh, the mid-torso cut allows you to come forward and back, but I tried twisting it and it's not twisting side to side. I don't know if it's you know not meant to or mine's just really tight, but you saw that we had the uh, the ball hinged elbows, the, the, the ball hinged shoulders, and then the head. You get a little bit of a swivel to it, but you know, because it's rubbery it allows that, but it really just looks good facing forward. And this figure just looks really damn good on the shelf. I love it. Thanks for watching everybody and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.